In this video, we will show you how to repair a water pump on a Buell 1125 or EBR 1190 motorcycle. Okay, welcome to the Buell and EBR 1125 1190 water pump repair video. I noticed when I did mine there is not one video on this, so just going to offer this as a reference. There's a lot of steps to this, but if you are uh, semi-mechanically inclined, you should be able to handle it. We'll walk you through the major stuff here. So what we're going to do is walk over to a 2008 Buell 1125R. And as you can see, the frame is off this. The first thing that you really need to do is rotate the motor down. Um, again, that's in the service manual. I'll probably say that quite a bit of times through the video. Um, but you need to have access to the clutch cover and the water pump area. So rotate your motor down or remove your frame. And then what you want to do is um, drain all your coolant out. And uh, I also drain the engine oil and that will become important later. You could. You could probably skip that step, but it's uh, probably time to uh, that you could change your engine oil as well. So when you drain your coolant, there's a bolt at the bottom of your water pump. It's right in the center of the screen there, and uh, that will drain all of your coolant out. So to get this clutch cover off, okay, and you wouldn't think this is called a clutch cover, but uh, this thing here is what they refer to as a clutch cover. So this entire thing is your clutch cover. And then this housing on the outside in this area here is uh, is the clutch actuator. All the parts are right there in the parts diagram. So let's start with getting that cover, number 23 there, off. Again, this is all in a Buell service manual. You can't really do this job without it, and this video is not going to help you much if you don't have it. So get one of those. So to get this cover off, there is a 17 millimeter um, nut right here, and um, you have to hold this with a five millimeter Allen. Okay, so I'll take this out so you can take a look, but this is a pass-through ratchet, okay, like this. And there's your nut right there, your spherical nut is what it's called. So to be able to hold this, you need to have either a angled open end, or a pass-through like this, and then you hold this here, and you loosen it here. This bike's all put back together. Then you'll take this cover off right here, and the clutch will be exposed, okay? So then what you do is you remove this inner part, go through the manual, remove your, um, your diaphragm, your slipper clutch diaphragm, and you'll have an open clutch basket there. So then at this point, you will be able to take all these bolts out around here and get your clutch cover off, okay? So that's what we're doing right there. So we've got all the parts off and we've got the whole clutch cover assembly off now. And again, this is what you're gonna be looking at here. So what you want to do, first of all, to be able to remove this whole thing, you can't get this off until you get your impeller off, all right? So there's two small holes here. There's one right here and one right here. And you can use a lock ring pliers to remove your impeller. And you're going to need a lock ring pliers probably at some point in this job. So you can stick it in right here into the two holes. Sorry, I'm going to do this one-handed here. I don't have my video assistant on hand. So you can just use the tool, spread them apart in the hole as such, and then you can turn your impeller off. So you're not going to um, be able to do this job until you get this impeller off, okay? So you've got your impeller off, and you've, got your, you've taken off your whole clutch cover now, and now it's time that you can go in and um, basically repair the parts in 
the water pump. This is your water pump area. What you're looking here on the outside is what's called the rotary seal, okay? And this rotary seal, um, beneath that is an oil seal. And I actually will have some pictures uh, of this later on in the video. So what you need to do first at this step is press out this gear, okay? And um, on some EBRs, um, it might be easier than the 1125. I had to push it out. It's, it's set in there pretty good. This is the back side of it right here. So here's your gear, okay? And we'll talk about this later, but there's a timing mark um, on this. Uh, one important step here that, uh, that I told myself to uh, remember, um, before you can get this, before you get this clutch cover off, you're going to have to use this, uh, this crank locking tool, okay? And the crank locking tool goes up in here, this area underneath the motor, okay? And it, uh, follow the book to use it to find top dead center on the compression stroke. So, sorry I went back there a little bit, but that is an important step, all right? All right, so you got your clutch cover off, you press out your gear right here, okay? And so the next step is there is a needle bearing underneath in here, okay? And it's probably easier if I show you on the exploded diagram here. But there is a needle bearing right in here that you need to get out. I used a Harbor Freight uh, blind bearing puller, okay? You can get it in there. I didn't use a slide hammer. I got it locked in there, and then I just pressed it out, okay? And that got the needle bearing out. Then you'll put a new needle bearing in, okay? And you're gonna install the needle bearing into the case, just like this, at this, uh, at this orientation. And you are going to use the, the letters up. And then we're gonna get into the special tool section here. But all these are available through um, your Buell dealer. Um, Harley, all Harley dealers can get Buell parts, or you can get these parts through EBR. Um, I got this needle bearing installer through from EBR. Don't pound in needle bearings without a needle bearing installing tool, okay? So again, more pictures after this video, but you press in your needle bearing there, okay? All right, then next up, we're going to press in our water pump, um, our oil seal. So for this, we're going to reference some other tools, okay? So this is a base, okay? This base is part of the water pump tool kit, okay? You can do this if you're industrious without these tools, but I would recommend purchasing them. So this goes over the gear as such, okay? And then you're going to want to press in your oil seal first, okay? This tool here is a B49141-2. Alright, this tool here that holds it is a B49141-4. Again, these are available. You can buy these tools from your Harley dealer or from EBR. Alright, so you're going to want to flip this over now. Alright. And it's going to help if you have a press. Okay. So this is all put together right now. All right. So underneath this is the oil seal. I'm going to put it letters up and press it in just like that. All right. And then we're going to use the rotary seal install tool. All right. And that number is B49141-3A. Again, that's available through your Harley-Davidson dealer. And then this has a shoulder in it and it'll only let you press the rotary seal in so far, okay? And this rotary seal has a lip, and you can see the lip right there, and this tool only allows it to press in so far. So now we've pressed in our rotary seal, all right? And then we're ready basically to put this thing back together. Um, so we're going to take this, we're going to install it back in the bike, and you're going to reinstall your impeller. Again, the impeller goes on, it's only hand tight, just as such, it just screws on. What I found with this, uh, with the 2008 um, 
1125 is when I pressed the rotary seal on some of it stood proud which means you know it was it was too um, it stood too far up on the shaft and when I screwed on the impeller I had to use some pressure to finish off the top of the seal so this will stop um, what's a really good guide is to use this um, the threaded part has to meet the top of this impeller right here so when you screw it on just keep screwing hand tight but firm okay so we got that going all right we get that all installed and then we want to talk a little bit about timing so basically when we get this back on the bike here again just hang on one second while I while I orientate um, and this is again why it's important that that you have the engine at top dead center but you'll see a timing um, plug right here there's a special tool but you can use um, a screwdriver you can use a drill bit whatever fits in there firmly but this is a, a, a hole and what you do is you stick a tool through this hole okay and you line up the tool with this marking on the gear and the marking on the gear is right here and so you want to rotate that mark you can see it good now up to the hole okay and then stick your tool through the hole if you can see it there and you line up your tool with that and what that does is when this goes back into the engine it makes sure that this is oriented right and is balanced properly okay all right so here are the uh, kind of an overview the tools uh, this is this is something that you can use to stick through here to uh, grab onto the gear your snap ring pliers and your blind bearing pullers one thing uh, another thing that I noticed between um, 2008 and 2009 as you will see on the exploded diagram that is a thrust washer okay um, make sure to get the 2009 thrust washer that was the later one and that has the that has the little prongs in it and that fits face down into a set of prongs behind this gear okay the 2008 um, thrust washer that they call for is actually doesn't have these prongs at all and I think it was just an earlier model, so just make sure to get that one. Okay, just some quick notes following the video here. This tool is the rotary seal installing tool, and it is available through the Harley-Davidson dealer. Okay, here's just an image of the gear itself, and on top of that you can see that thrust washer that I talked about in the video. Below that is the, the tool that holds onto the gear as you press on all the seals. Next up is the difference between a EBR gear, water pump gear, and a Buell water pump gear. The EBR gear is on the right, um, and the 1125 Buell gear is uh, on the left. And here's an image of the back of the clutch cover. You can see that blind puller there, and that's what I use to remove the needle bearing. Then I just put a socket on the other side, and I just I just pressed it out. You can use the slide hammer if you want. Here's an image of the needle bearing installer, and we're pressing in the needle bearing. Remember, we want to use the letters up on that side as you press it in and you want it supported, a block of wood on the other side is, is good for that. This is a picture of the oil seal installed, of course, letters up. You've got your gear in behind that. You have that round uh, holding tool that I showed previously that holds the gear in. Again, these are pressed in with that gear in place. And here's a picture of the rotary seal installed. All right, well, we hope that you enjoyed this Agard Moto Foundry production and like, comment, and subscribe below.